as Elliot said, my name is Dave Schumel. Uh, I'm the lead analyst at IDC for our research on AI software platforms research. And as part of that research, we co cover conversational AI and digital assistant technologies and, and interactive virtual assistants. So I, I'm pleased to, to be here to, to talk to you a little bit about you know, the overview of the market and what we're seeing you know, from IDC's point of view. So let's start out with you know, what is AI? And IDC has a pretty you know, exhaustive definition of what AI is, and, and you can see it there, you know, systems that learn, reason, and self-correct and that they hypothesize and formulate possible answers based on available uh, evidence um, and can be trained and automatically adapt and learn from their mistakes and failures. Uh, this is a, 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 a very different uh, type of software than, than people have ever actually used before. Uh, in the past, people have built programmatic uh, applications where you know a programmer actually de decides what happens. Now what we're seeing is the um, development of types of software that can actually interact with people and interact uh, with data and make recommendations and build um, you know uh, suggestions and predictions and things like that. Uh, this is a really broad market and it includes a lot of different types of technologies that we've highlighted, in here, as you can see, uh, deep learning and machine learning, conversational AI, natural language processing, search, voice and speech recognition. You know, all of those are are being used to help you know help applications, uh, you know, support sales, finance, risk management. R&D, procurement, HR, marketing, and, and even things like performance management. Uh, one of the things that, that IDC does is we make predictions every year. And as we've done that, uh, you can see on the side that we've talked about how what our prediction about intelligent automation is going to be. That we believe by 2022, 75% uh, of all enterprises will embed some type of intelligent automation into their business processes. And they'll be using AI-based software, like we just talked about, you know, to discover operational and experiential insights to guide innovation and even to automate various types of, of processes. So how do we do that? So, IDCs, uh, you know, to help people or help enterprises evaluate various opportunities and mitigate some of the risks of using AI, we've developed a, an AI-based automation evolution framework. The whole intent of this is to guide businesses and IT leaders' uh, decision-making by defining what the expected level of AI-based automation should be, you know, depending on the evolution of the technology and the hierarchy of the automation scope. And it's just a way to help categorize advancements in AI. And to do that, you, you see that, that we've identified five levels. Um, and basically, as you can see from the top, we have human-led, human-led machine-supported, machine-led, human-supported, machine-led, human-governed, and machine-controlled. So let's take a, a minute and talk about those a little bit more. Uh, the question is, in, at the first level, uh, we see basically it, this is all human-based. It's the humans that do, do the processing, they analyze the data, uh, they essentially act on any of those decisions, and then move forward. So this is essentially what, what a lot of people are doing today. Um, the next level is human-led, machine-supported. The human continues to, to lead the analysis and, and decision-making, but is now relying on machines, you know, across these kinds of steps in terms of the analysis. Um, 
you may have uh, some type of uh, you know automatic analysis and capability, and that actually provides the human with the information that they need to make the decision. At the next level, we have machine-led human supported. In this case, the machine is actually using a wide range of tech techniques, including artificial intelligence and machine learning, to conduct the analysis and produce the insights. And then those insights are actually reviewed by humans, uh, and the human still makes the decision. 